1790. It's kind of dark. Too dark? No, this one up here is pretty good. This one's a little dark. This one's all right. Looks like the light's coming from this side. Oh, she gets his hair and says, that's all how fun. This is strange. I know. There's a little candle in there. Probably pull it down, light it, and pull it back up. Pull it back up, yeah. This is unbelievable. Kind of dark. This is what the dining room. Mm -hmm. Little dining room here. The candles again. Yeah. And then here's up on the tippy top. Mm -hmm. Love those old doors. Curtains. That old mansion. We saw some of these old mansions on our driving through Vermont. All made out of shells. the horse. Yeah. <laughs> I got a bitty coming out of the Oh my gosh. At least they didn't have flat tires, huh? Oh, no. Tapes. Oh. She's interested in family. Yeah, these are apples. There they're going. Wanna go for a ride in the buggy? You guys waiting for a horse? Oh dear. Cardboard and popsicle sticks. And little river rock. And little river rocks. Got a little window here. Mars in the little box. Cute, isn't it? Okay. Here is Anne and Betty making their cards. Yeah, very cute. It's for Michelle. It's for 
That's right, from Grandma. That's right. Katrina got one, right? Right on. Alex and Ashley. How about that? We can go and play some more. We're in the kindergarten class. Nineteen oh six, what? National Historic Landmark Side Field Ski Lift. This came out of them. Oh, June, yes. you have to come from here and get the track. Take a picture through here on the journey. Our White Isle Circus Parade, uh, which was done by five professional carvers. They worked 30 years from 1925 to 1955. Roy Arnold worked from 19, excuse me, Edgar Turk. Mm -hmm.
He and Annie Elford were friends. Raced out for sleep. Big time cowboys. Indians on bareback here. One more to go. Come on, Betty. One more to go. Betty said she wants to live in a log cabin, so there it is. I'm gonna your camera. Let's get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the log cabin. They decided to spend the night here. Wow. Jeez. Where are we, anyway? We're in Moose Haven. See the bear down there? Where's the bear? The bear? Yeah. Oh, the black bear. <laughs> How you doing? Caribou. Oh, I thought it was the moose. No, 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 no. I think caribou. Oh. You want a moose? Yes. Right over there. Oh, there's the moose. Got it. Oh, you were in the yeah. Adirondack yesterday, yeah. 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 Where, Lake Placid? Uh, yes. Yes. Yeah. Copper Lake, Lake Placid, Saranac uh, Lake. Mm hmm. Uh, we did. Over through there. And then we came back on the ferry. Yeah, yeah. Which one? The Charlotte Ferry? They went from it took an Canada. hour. Oh, you took the one from Burlington, from Port Kent to Burlington, then. Yeah. Hour and 15 feet. She took this whole thing, but she had a thing where you could see it. Oh, that's you the know, new. She took one of mm -hmm. those cameras, you know, mm -hmm. where you could see mm -hmm. it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This one, this one is a moose. Oh, that's the moose. That is a moose. That's oh. a big moose. Is that a male moose or female well, moose or? I, I would moose. say it's. A, I would say it's a male moose by the looks of it. <laughs> Betty wants Betty wants to know if she can take this rug back to Hawaii with her. Oh my god. <laughs> this is our log cabin. Oh that's the barn. Well, we're on our way out of here. It's about five o'clock. And we're on our way down to Rutland, Vermont. Alrighty, we're leaving this place. Shelburne Museum. Okay, you better talk about well, that's that's we're going into Burlington, and that's the skyscrape, scape, skyscape. Um, um, look at that, beautiful, just beautiful. The sky lit up the whole little town up there. Look at that, the church steeples on the top. That would be a beautiful. There's the steeples with the. Back where? No, right there, right there where the steeples are. That's it. That's it. You're done. Do I have it? Almost like uh, a rainbow. There's a picture of the covered bridge at the Shelburne Museum. We came back to get Ann's camera. The guy is bringing it out. This is one of the oldest wooden covered bridges in Vermont. This is a side view of that covered bridge in Shelburne Museum. Saturday morning, 
the 3rd of October. And we're going to the Cooley Bridge here, right outside of Rutland, Vermont. And we dropped Betty off at a miniature store. And Ann and I are out going through covered bridges in this area. Here's looking through another covered bridge here. We're just driving through the little country town right outside of Rutland. There's quite a few covered bridges through here. There's that same covered bridge up there. Stream going right under it. There's a little farm down here. Here's the bridge from down below, a little bit of climbing. So beautiful. All the reflections early in the morning here. That's great. Gorman Bridge. Another covered bridge, Hammond covered bridge here. And this one they're not using. They're fixing this one up. Now this is a Hammond Covered Bridge. Hammond Creek. Hammond Creek. Covered Bridge. Wonderful. And they're they're repairing it, aren't they? Or it's no longer in use. Yeah, they can't use it anymore. Well, they got this bridge instead here. Uh huh. But yeah. They're they're keeping it. It's pretty. Still right around Rutland. I know it's missing. It was back there because I got it checked off. This house here is a stick. <laughs> We get, many people do. They come in, you know, they're not a, you know, a dollhouse, but they have a collection of some things. This 
This is where Betty went crazy while Ann and I went through the covered bridges. We left her here. Miniature dollhouses. The damn thing is closed. I was, I was shooting the inside of the black. Oh, I said that on the thing. There's the witch up there on the pole. And there is the little angels all around the pole. I'm going to zoom in on the witch. There's the witch. See if you just look at the Oh, I think that is so cute. Well, we're having our, our little, our little Grafton. yeah. What's the name? Grafton. Grafton. We're in Grafton, Grafton Vermont. Vermont. Very quaint little village in the mountains. Turn around and get Here's part of the little town here. We're in, well. We're gonna go browsing through here in a minute. As soon as we get through eating. We just Ap picked up a bee, so get going with your lunch. That's a nice picture of the blacksmith shop with the trees. Here we are at Crafton, Vermont. The blacksmith. Well, there's Betty sitting at the old tavern. Still in Craft Crafton. Vermont. Pretty. We're in Ludlow. Yeah, and the one up above it. Oh, that. that's so pretty. Yeah, and you're up there. It's so cute. pretty. I think I might go get a picture of the other way. This is on the way on up to Green Mountain Sugar House. Oh, how pretty. Look at that. Look behind you. Oops. Hitting my head on the window here. What the f on the fishing boat. Mm. Neat. Sunday morning, and this is where we're staying, Pond Ridge Motel, right outside of Woodstock.
A lot of hiking trails. We're going to head on up to one of these trails this morning. October the 3rd or 4th, I'm not sure. And right behind the motel down here is a creek where I'm headed for. Here's a little creek behind the pine, no, pond ridge motel in right outside of Woodstock. Ann was out here earlier and she said there were um, hot air balloons that were taken off that I missed. We're starting our walk. Here's the beginning of the trail and there are cherry trees here and people picking them and Betty is ready to go, right? Right. We got Ann taking pictures of the cherry trees. All right, here we are going up the mountain. There's Ann. Oh, and there's Betty. Oh, she found a bench. I'll be darned. Come on, Betty, put it in third gear. We made it! Woo! Hi, Mike. Woohoo! Well, we reached the bench. And I think Betty is going to make good use of this bench. I'll be gathering leaves. All right. And you can go hike some more. Now we're looking down at the little village of Woodstock. And if you hear a huffing and a puffing, it ain't me, it's Betty. <laughs> well, I left Betty down there. I came up another hundred yards. So I'm at the summit. Now I've got to go find Ann. There's the covered bridge <coughs> right there mm -hmm. in town. Another it, car coming out. There's the wonderful covered bridge, and I think back here if I can find it is the big there it is the big hotel that's in town here that we saw mm -hmm. I think a, I yeah see it it's a there. big wonderful hotel there's and that I wonderful said, well, don't church because we hit that's a wonderful church oh just sitting so then there. we followed them yeah. Jackson Hotel there's oh, another church yeah. here Here we are, up above Woodstock, on the precipice trail. It's wonderful. It stopped. I was trying to get the church bells, and it's there's the church bells. Bells would ring now. Yeah, because that with the bells ringing. In the background, I do. Hiker, we're at the summit. You made it. Okay. Okay. Well, not really, Betty. There's the summit, a hundred yards going up that trail. Get out of here. <laughs> I'm down. Wake up. All right, there she is. She picked some apples. We're down at the bottom of our hike. What was the name of the mountain we were up on? Oh, Faulkner. There she comes. She stripped all her clothes. Where's my cane? She may. Okay, these are the falls right next to one of these covered bridges. So I'm going to try to get. Now there's looking at that covered bridge. From underneath the bridge. And there's the water coming down the stream. And I'm not going to go down there. We're in Casey Gorge. You can go down there and get a picture of the... This way and we'll go up the other way to the restaurant. Okay. There is the covered bridge. bridge. Alright, the Kishi Bridge. By the Kishi Falls. And 
and I can smell the peachy food. Kishi, Kishi, Kishi Gorge. Yeah, Ann and I are going to go hiking down there where those people are. Walk the Dale down there. See them? Yeah. We're going to walk along that trail. That other side is prettier. The sun will be better when we come back. There's the lake right above. Mm -hmm. The path that we're going to go wow. on. That's incredible. We'll have to try to cross. All right, this is same Kishi George. We're on the other side of the bridge here, looking down. There's a trail going down right along the side. This one goes up into the mountain. Gotta go up this way because I can't. Now we're down in the gorge, looking up. Beautiful. Huh? Walking all over these rocks here. And a little stream is coming right along. But there's a couple of dams up there holding the water back. And there's signs all along here to be aware that the water could ride. Oh, that's the reflection of the bridge. How about that? This is all the rocks right down in the gorge. And we're going to walk up to the falls. Now this is just up a ways a little bit. The other side of where we were. Okay, breathing closer to the falls. Well, it's five o'clock and we're heading out of Kishi Gorge. Kishi Farm. Oh, Kishi Farm, no. sorry. What well, Sugarbush Farm. Betty, we're at Sugarbush. We were at Kishi. And this is a reflection in the water. These are all reflections in the water. October the 5th, Monday morning, we're heading out of Woodstock on our way to New Hampshire. 32 degrees. 32 degrees. And we found something here. It's a display for Halloween display. The side of the road. So we stop. That cute. All the little animals sitting out there freezing. There's a little sheep down there. There's the other side of the road and the sun's out hitting the other side of the road. Wow. There's our van all filled up and with her camera.
We're in New Hampshire and the shrine, LaSalle. This is right in the back of the church. Now they, this is behind the church and they have the outdoor stations back here. We're at the Annalee Doll Museum. And I found some cars. Lake and we just checked into a cottage right on the lake and we'll be there in about five minutes right along the lake there this is our cottage at Lake Winnipesaukee And it goes all the way down to the lake. So we're just looking it over, just got in. Again, yeah, yeah. yes, our eye. very nice. Very warm. Do I see the glass of wine there? Imaginary glass of wine. I didn't have my hand away. Yeah, I don't know if I had my hand trying to block it a little bit or not. This is still Monday. We just left the cottages and we're going for a ride up to see a castle. This is on the way up at Lake Winnipesaukee.
this is a reflection in the water of those trees. All reflections. Just beautiful, beautiful. Getting towards evening and we just came from the castle in the sky and we're heading on back down and we just pulled in to a little side road and found this place I thought it was pretty neat Oh no, this should be fine. Yeah, that that famous little white hand? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it is known that once one gets ready, it's ready to get a ship. Uh, what happens uh, when one gets ready? Well, you can buy another condo so you can get another ship. Yeah. <laughs> brains, brains. Oh, never. I got gray hair. I ain't got Move yet? brains yet. No, no, no. They're not much good, but I got a set up probably, yeah. Well, we're leaving the dock. 10 o'clock on Tuesday morning at Lake Winnipesaukee at Weir's Beach. Welcome to Lake Winnipesaukee, New Hampshire's largest lake, nestled in the foothills of the White Mountains. Millions of people have visited its shores and cruised its waters, dating back thousands of years to the early American Indians who lived in fifth year and hunted the surrounding hills. They named this Lake Winnipesaukee, which is an Indian name meaning a beautiful water in a high hill. For your safety, we are requesting that we remain on the deck at all times. Running, jumping, and climbing are not allowed. Please remember that this is a ship that stairs and passageways. There's Betty. Are you cold, Betty? No. No. <laughs> now here's an island we're coming around. <clears throat> Just leaving Weir's Beach. On our left was once owned by Jack Wright, a newly Boston attorney. It is interesting to note that his wife planted 42 varieties of shrubs and trees on this once barren island. Tiny pond known for its beauty, about 216 feet above the lake. The island derived its name from the stone causeway which once connected it to Meredith Neck, a part of the mainland. This causeway was removed, leaving a narrow channel known as Sally's Gut. Stone Dam Island is currently owned by the Lakes Region Conservation Trust. It is used primarily for educational purposes. Good one, a Betty. Yeah. Or the man. I got it. <laughs> oh, I tell you what. That's some beautiful homes along there. Jeez. All these little islands. Oh, boy. It's visible. The two highest peaks are Mount Gunstock and Mount Belknap, rising 2,000. Hundred feet, four feet above sea level. Now, Dunstock is the home of the Dunstock Recreation Agency area. On our right of the rock, they were not always apparent like a rock. 
living on these islands all out in the middle of Lake Winnipesaukee. Just go from island to island. Miss Point, which is part of the West Alton shoreline. That's it. Here we're going around another little island. This looks like a pretty good sized island though. Snake Island on our left. Sleepers Island was once known as the Little Rattlesnake Island. Island Camp Treasure Island, a Boston Girl Scout Camp. Island Camp Treasure And a smaller one, Ship Island. On the left. Oh. On the left, Jack. We know your top, but you know <laughs> get a very good idea of the expanse of the lake. Looking to your left, you can see all the way to Center Harbor, the northern extremity of the lake, which is a distance of about 20 miles. In this area of the lake, we encounter the roughest waters in times of high northwest winds. Oh, big guy. No way. Island and the smaller one is a little far north island. On to the right. Well, this is the right one. We enter beautiful Wolf Pearl Bay, where in 1764, colonial governor John Wentworth completed a promised road from Portsmouth to Wolf Pearl, which ended up being the oldest summer resort in America. Directly ahead of us, you can see the grounds and campus of Brewster Academy, a privately endowed educational facility. We'll be docking at Wilbur in just a few moments. Looking at one of the islands in Wolfsboro. Coming into the little town of Wolfsboro. Now this is an island right here though, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Right off the town. A whole bunch of boats back in there. Well, I guess that's not an island, that's just part of Wolfsboro. That's a college. Mm -hmm. We're now docking at Wolfboro once again. Presley Tours Incorporated, New England Cape Cod Group, Mayflower Tours, and Senior Travel Group. This is your stop. Those passengers leaving the ship at Wolfboro, please come to the main deck at the forward end of the ship at this time. Once again, if you're leaving through the dining area... Mm -hmm. 
There's people waiting to come on and people waiting to go off. As we're coming in, gotta put the brakes on. Put it on reverse. Coming in. of our cruise ship that we were on. They got another group going on now from Weir's Beach. <laughs> and there's our boat heading out of Weir's Beach. We're having our picnic lunch here. And they're heading on out of Weir's Beach, taking another group. There's our picnic table. We're getting ready to have our lunch before we go on our afternoon hike. Here's a little beach. Let me zoom in on our ship there. About a two and a half hour dry, uh, cruise. And we're here in the park. Nice sandy beach. Our two at the picnic table. <laughs> it's not cold or anything, is it? <laughs> there goes up. The little chipmunks on the way up to get his little nut. See him up there? He's getting the little nut. Has he got it yet? Where is he? He's hidden. He's hidden. He's coming. coming back with a nut and Stop right there. He always stops in that one same spot. I think he looks to see if it's clear. Where is he? He's back on his clear. house. Clear. Up by his house. Going into... Oh, it's too late now. You'll have to wait till... There he comes out now, isn't he? Yeah, he's got his head stuck on. I think he knows where Yeah, he's on the, he's on the rock. You see right there. Waiting for that bird to go. Look at that. See him on top of it? 
If he starts running, let me know. Oh, he's sitting up on the rock, isn't he? He's watching me with the camera. Come on, little guy, go get your nut. Isn't that funny? Now look at it. It's, it's clapping his hands for you. That is so funny. Is it eating a nut? I don't think so. It's so funny. It's the first time it's sat there. <laughs> it's like it knows the camera. little bird wants a handout. Betty going to go feed the chipmunk. <coughs> Train takes you all around Lake Winnipesaukee. If you don't want to drive or go on the cruise ship, you can take the train. Button push. Okay. <clears throat> now this film is being shot in Tuftonboro, New Hampshire. Oh, right. Yeah. <laughs> Beautiful. All right. All right. Yeah. Now, I'll tell you a story about this. Really? You know, <clears throat> the last ice age, 10 million years ago, came down from the north and scooped out all this, what is now the lake. And it kept on rolling, carrying all the uh, rocks and sand. And where do you think it left it? It, uh, when the ice, the temperatures changed and the ice started to melt, it dropped all the sand and gravel it picked up right here. And now it's called Cape Cod. Massachusetts. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. That's why Cape Cod is shaped the way it is. That's the way the... The way it came that When it started to melt, it just dropped everything that it was so rolling you said up in front of it. Block Island. Cape Cod, Block Island, and Long Island. And Long Island. Yeah. This is <clears throat> on our way to castles in the sky. We just stopped along the way on our way up to the castle with an overlook. Channel, Channel 9 News tonight will be broadcast from the castle. We're up in the castle. This is a lot of their trucks in the back. battery the battery is right up <laughs> and you're on TV did I see that yes well you did you could see the bathroom there see how nice those closets are look at that all those drawers just pull out Cedar, all cedar. This is was Mr. Roosevelt's room when he was a guest here. Yeah. Just the guest bedroom. The guest bedroom. Okay. Now this this was Olive Plant's bedroom. Her room was. We are in the castle. In the what? In the clouds. In the clouds. I keep calling it the castle in the sky. Yes. Pretty. So pretty. What a room, huh? I'm just going to back up and you can see the whole window this way. Okay, this says... I can't read it. The home is founded on my sincere belief that those who have lived honest, industrious lives and are without means or friends 
to care for them have earned the right to be cared for. Only through the labor of expenditure of others is it possible for business professional men to succeed. Therefore, it is the duty of the strong and the successful to care for the deserving aged poor. Castle in the clouds. Whatever is. Yes. TV camera set up for the nine Channel 9 News tonight. Mm -hmm. The Thomas plant right there. Awesome. Hi. Old Castle Springs. Thursday morning, nine o'clock. We're on our way up to some gorge to go hiking today, and this is just on the way up the road from from the lake. What? What? Whatever. Right next to the cows is this little grotto here. Beautiful crispy morning. Very crispy out here. This is called White Oak Pond in New Hampshire. We're at the top of White Mountains in New Hampshire. There is a covered bridge. Yeah, 1886. You go down there, you can have a and we're walking yeah, along the Flume Walk. We got so many bridges. It is. Yeah. We're still climbing the Flume. It's Table Rock. It's called Table Rock. I got her. There she goes. I got her. Still walking, still walking. Right here, beautiful. We're walking on a little walkway. Right next to us is the water. But she's walking. 
There she comes. She got a stick. No, she doesn't have a stick. There she is. I got her again. Got her again. She's got to be in pretty good shape to do all this. Go ahead and talk. That's the swimming hole. Yeah. 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 Under the bridge. Down there. The flume. See over there. I guess we're all going to walk through the cover and walk through the bridge. And then I'll Pool is 40? 40 and the cliffs are 80 feet high. Wow. Whoa, 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 whoa. Woo! You're on the little walking covered bridge. Oh, that's right. We're on the bridge. Hey, guys. We're at the end of the flume, whatever, flume. Taking our panoramic view. Oh, this is the flume, right, Ann? Franconian Notch. Oh, Franconian Notch. Park. Okay. State park. And we're having our gourmet lunch. You know, if this is a, if this is a, um, anyway. Yeah. It's like, yeah. It's, 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 it's like wings of, uh,
back on the other side. I can see okay, it. Okay, now let's see if the fog's coming up here. Look see the foliage. I got it, Betty. Betty, I got it. It's a lot already. It's where we got our jackets, right there. Okay, Betty. But these are leaves from New Hampshire. The white mountains. These, these. More leaves. Feast your eyes. These are pretty, though, aren't they? Vermont, just as pretty in Maine. It is pretty no matter where you look. And it's pine. How about it's that? Well, we're in Mount Potash. Mount Potash Trail. Right here before we get out of the forest. One more shot. Okay, this is Friday morning and we're out of our our room. And our room is right down there where the flag is on the first floor. It's damp, drizzly. And across the street here at the intersection. This is the um I think that's the John Hancock. And then that's like the state building, and I don't know what all, all that. This is the public library here. That's the Prudential down there. Prudential down there? Yeah, we okay. see the name Prudential right on the top. That's and where we're all, Yeah, we're yeah. going to go up there and take a view later. Okay. Maybe tonight with the lights. Yeah. Now we know we're in Boston. Are we Boston, Boston University School of Medicine. Here we are. And there's a the bag lady going down the street. 
there Pam got all her furry things with her. South Church right across from Coffee Square in downtown Boston. I think this church was here when the Revolutionary War, I believe. It's 1875. 1875? Yeah. I, I think this is the one they put the candles in the window, but I'm not sure. The old South Church. Reflection of the church on this building, right? Next yeah, to that, it. That is the uh, that's the uh, John Hancock glass tower. Uh -huh. This is the uh, Trinity Church. Yeah, Trinity Episcopal is right Trinity, here. Trinity, Trinity Church. Uh-huh. Uh, the city of Boston. It's the whole city. We're stuck in that window over there. Okay, that's the Trinity Church and right across the Hancock building with the reflection on it. We're at Colby Square right now. We just walked up here from the apartment where we're staying and we're in walking distance of everything around here. There's the Weston Hotel, the Sheraton, uh, the Hilton. Everything is in walking distance. Fabulous food. And of course we got the famous Boston Rain. Rain and cold and damp, and we're all bundled up here. But man, we're not staying in the room. We're going to go up to the uh, museum in a little while. That's the church we were just at. This is inside Trinity Episcopal. These are all individual needlers, all needlepoint. All the needlers have people's names on it, and all done in needlepoint. Gorgeous. Just gorgeous. Okay. That is the baptismal font. Stained glass windows all around. Tell me who's the guy in the horse, Ann. I don't know. It might be Paul Revere. I don't know. Maybe it's Lafayette, the uh, French shop. Uh... Tell me where we are here. We are in Boston Common. Well, Betty, take the umbrella away because you can't see a face. Boston yeah. Commons. We're still walking from our apartment. 
Yeah, we're, we're in Boston Commons. We're just walking in the rain, walking in the rain. That beautiful bridge over there in the Boston Commons. And all the homeless standing under the bridge out of the rain. Oh, I got a piece of the camera bag on. Buried on this ground, this tab tablet as a memorial to Paul Revere is erected by the Paul Revere Memorial Association to commemorate, commemorate the opening of the public on April 19, 1908 of his old house on number 19 North Square in the city. May the youth of today, when they visit this old house, be inspired with the patriotism of Paul Revere. <laughs> Okay, this is the very, this is right downtown Boston. What'd you say? The burial place of parents of Benjamin Franklin. Parents of Benjamin Franklin are buried in these grounds. 37,000 Irish refugees landed in Boston. They, they were so poor and they weren't wanted and they were called the Bowl of Tears. A lot of them died on the ships coming over because they couldn't handle their sailing. And they lived down by the wharves and many of them were just born to die. And this is in memory of them. And some of the ships that brought them over were called coffin ships. The Kimmerick, yeah. The lessons of the Irish famine need to be constantly learned and applied until history finally ceases to repeat it. American dream, despite hostility from some Bostonians and signs of no Irish need apply, the famine Irish what did it say? Mentally transformed themselves into carpet refugees for hard work and successful Americans. Go ahead. Read it. The leadership of Boston Irish like John Boyle O'Reilly, Patrick Collins, Richard Cardinal Cushing. Culminated in a descent descendant of the famine generation. John F. Kennedy became the Nation's first Irish Catholic president in 1960. Today, 44 million Americans claim Irish ancestry, leading the nation in Medal of Honor winners and excelling in literature, sports, business, medicine, and entertainment. That is the old South Meeting House. There. That's where they put the light in the window. That's the one. Oh. They put the light in the window. It was two two candles. Uh, the the, the uh, regulars were coming from one way, and if it was one candle, the regulars were coming from the other way. And that's how we do. That was the sign. That was the sign. The Faneuil Hall. And then you can get that church over there, whatever that is. Well, there's South Market building. And back here is Faneuil Hall right here. That's V Hall. That's all the way hall. Up the top. Where they have all their yeah, we meetings. Get the name of it on the bottom down there. That's the Peniel Hall. You walk probably three miles in the rain to get down here. Right there, I zoomed in on it. Peniel yeah. Hall. Okay, that's so fun. Then you know you and can. And here is all the. That's the flower market. I just going around taking a panoramic view here. I walked him through the park one day in the rain, in the rain, in the rain. Doom, doom, doom. We are walking ducks. Oh, jeez. We are in the Kennedy Museum and I'm looking up here. This place is huge, huge, huge. We've been here for, I don't know, an hour or two. And we're right on the bay here. I guess that's the Atlantic. Right out there. 
and I see a red and a green buoy out there. How about that? In the in the rain and the fog and the mist. And there's a ship. They have um, students out here going through it. And this is the saying on the wall. It's over here, the same thing as over here. No, 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 but I mean, right here you can get to this thing. Right yeah, I was there. getting it. get on. Picture of the Sheraton, Boston Sheraton here. And across the street is the, is the Hilton right there. It's Sunday morning and it's still raining and drizzling and we're walking around trying to find a church. 8.30 in the morning. How about that? There's Betty and Anna way up there and looks like a little dome there. Maybe we're going in that church. Sure, I like it with your hat on. I've got record. I'm recording right now. Got my zoom on. Uh, Sheraton and the Hilton. And this Christian Science Center is now there's Betty all decked up in her fine Sunday outfit. And there's Ann, she's decked out too in her finery. See? Okay, that's the John Hancock. Well, we're at the Lucas Market on Newberry Street. Now, All places, kind of fruit here. The bags or over the bags. No. This is Newberry Street, right where we're staying. Ann and Betty there. Having a fit with the clothes. Trying to get the umbrellas and the raincoats and the boots and the okay, whatever. So we're still on Newberry Street, just looking in the opposite direction. And this place is really close. The street is right down in the middle of all the hubbub. Walk there, there's some really pretty flowers in the this is if I can find them. Walk from where we were standing. Yeah, we're, right, we're standing in one of these buildings the right on up there. And today we depart. We're walking on up the street that we live on. Newberry Street. Hmm? Where is that? Oh. There is a salon. There is a little towel in the window. We're walking around Sunday morning, checking everything out. It's still Newbury Street. This is for Arthur. Hope you like this art, Arthur. The 
with the Boston Artist Guild here. Vernon and Charles Street here, up in Beacon Hill. Cedar Lane Way, Cedar Lane Way Mount Vernon. This is uptown, across from the Commons, and all of these wonderful old, beautiful homes. Very old area. Well, here we are on famous. Acorn Street. And this is in Beacon Hill, right? Beacon Hill. Famous Acorn Street. And we're in pictures going the other way. You might be kind of nice. They're walking up Acorn Street. Now I'm going to be right behind them. Huh. We're still on Beacon Hill? Yeah, we're in Mount Vernon. In Mount Vernon? Square. We're in Lewisburg Square. All right, Lewisburg Square. Right next to the statue. I mean, right next to the tree. Looks like the sun's coming out. It's one of the houses down here on. Mount Vernon Street. It's a little courtyard in the front. All the little flower boxes. There's a gold dome. I zoom in to see it though. Somewhere over there. There it is. There it is. Here, right on Brenner. 
Brenner and Beacon. There's people standing. All right, there's people sitting in there. People standing outside. The uh, Boston Pops uh, outdoor concert uh, area, the uh, Fiedlers. We're on Fiedler Bridge. There's the Charles River right behind it, the train going over. The other side is Harbor. Charles River back there. 